Hello, thank you for joining me for this new and exciting tips tutorial on the Crazy 2x2. Let's get started. So I've had this puzzle for a while and um, I finally got into it. <laughs> I had another one, uh, Crazy 2x2, but it had like an uh, internal problem and it just wasn't solving. Um, but now I bought I bought a new one. And I've been solving it like easily, very, very easily. So um, in this tips tutorial, I'm just going to show a few things like how this actually works. And I'm going to do a series on this. Um, there's really not uh, good tutorials out there on this. So I'm going to try to really do step by step and show how to solve this. Um, and I highly recommend this for like advanced cubers because this is really not an easy puzzle. <laughs> yeah, definitely advanced cubers, uh, you know, or if you really want to learn it, I'm going to do a series on it. So um, this is a really good puzzle. It's fun. So let's get into it. So I'm going to show first like pretty much like how it works. So, oops. so how it works is like this. Oop. Sorry about that. It's just the angle. I'm see it spins like that, and this spins too, like on the axis with it. So, you know, every side is different. Like this side is spinning without this moving. And don't let that scare you. Like, um. See, this side moves where this spins with it. So, you know, like, don't let that scare you. This is uh, definitely a good puzzle to get if you ever get a chance to try it. If you're looking for a new challenge, something different, it's definitely a good challenge. So, um, I'm going to start off showing uh, the algorithm, and then I'll get a little few more details into this. So, the, how the algorithm goes... For the whole puzzle, there's only one algorithm to solve this puzzle over and over again. It's the same algorithm for every part. So it's I'm going to show it right now. It's right invert, up invert, right invert, up invert, right invert, up, right, up, and a right, and an up. That's the only algorithm you need. It, you'll solve this puzzle with just that one algorithm. It's just a matter of putting the pieces, rotating things around, stuff like that. So how this does work is like an example on the blue face here. We have this red little piece here. We got a blue here, white here. How the pieces move around is like on the corners like this. So I'll show it again. So we're going to move the red around and these three around, like circle it around. Right invert, up invert, right invert, up invert, right invert, up, right, up, right, and up. So now the red went from here to here. White went from here to here. We'll show it again one more time. So they circled all the way around and it's solved. So I just want to show you to start off with the, the actual algorithm for this puzzle because, uh, you know, there's different algorithms out there and a few people, you know, that have done it, uh, use that algorithm and it works great. Um, but that's the only one you'll ever need for this whole puzzle. Another thing to note is I'm going to sp scramble and show you something that's like the, a huge part of this puzzle. This is like probably, probably the most important part to know. So when you get your crazy two by two, if you get it, you know, like an example, notice like this blue and yellow and red, the inner, inner things like here, example, it's a different color here it's a different color or on this white and orange like that's a different color 
that's a different color, that's a different color. One thing to note is when you get it and you scramble it, uh, you're going to have one square where it's always solved. Like this one, there's the orange, the blue, and white. They're all matching. So you're going to have one square like this. This is really important to remember because when you're solving on it, you're always going to need to keep it on the left side here. And, you know, as you solve, you're going to rotate it. So you're going to be drop, like dropping pieces down, but you're always going to keep this on the left side and rotate it around just to, uh, that's just how it works. It's crazy, but that's, that's exactly how it works. So, um, I will show you like a little example of how this works. Um, or wait, wait, let me do white side. Do a quick thing here. So you just solve it like a regular two by two until you get all the pieces in place. It's all in place. And that's all you have to do to start is just get all the pieces in place, like solve it like a regular two by two, which is very easy. Don't worry about that. That's all you have to do is solve that. So like I said, so now we have the white on the bottom and you look for your one piece and, and it could be on the yellow side too. Because the other one I have has the yellow side, but like I said, it had an internal problem, but um, it could be on the yellow side or it could be on the white side. This one happens to be on the white side where everything's in place. If you, if you look at the other pieces here on the white side, you know, they're, they're not all in place. This one is, it has everything. So I'll just give it like a little example. So we need to drop down a white here if we have one okay so there's a white here this needs to come here so I'll just show you with the algorithm how that works step by step right invert up invert right invert up invert right invert up right up right and up so the white came into place so it went from here to here but the thing to remember is this is on the, you always want to keep this on the left side, like, um, cause it's on the bottom. You always want to keep on the left. And then like an example, you rotate it again and see if there's like, there needs to be a blue piece that comes here. So you rotate that and you just swing this around. Here's a blue here. We'll drop it down. Right invert, up invert, right invert, up invert, right invert, up, right, up, right. There we go. So the blue came into place. So I just want to show how this works. Um, it's definitely a good challenge. It's a fun puzzle. And I just want to show these little tips to show you exactly how it works and the details of it, because these are the important parts. <laughs> you know, the algorithm and just knowing about that one piece that you keep in the left side here. And you just look for the next one. You know, you'd rotate it. Rotate around, see if it goes down here, or however, that, how, whatever the scenario is, whatever the situation is, or whatever you need to put in place, you just keep rotating around. But I'll show more details um, next week in another video. Um, you know, step by step solving this, how it works, and different things like that. So yeah, I just want to do a quick a uh, little tutorial on this to show you a little bit about this puzzle. Um, this is called the crazy, crazy two by two. I'll have the information in the description below or in the comment section, either one or maybe both. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for joining me for this tips tutorial on the crazy two by two. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you know, you could leave them below and I will reply to you. Saturday here in Chicago, I have my, let me get the sticker off, <laughs> McDonald's coffee, McCafe. I still have a little left and I'm loving it. 
Hmm. So yeah, thank you for joining me. Like I said, if you, if you want to talk anything about cubing, any questions about different cubes, new puzzles or anything, just leave a comment. I will get back to you. I will reply to you. I promise you that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today. And I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And happy Saturday, everyone. Have a great day.